Hello. No music again today. Well, on the recording side. I have my playlist playing, but. Hello. Yeah. How's everybody doing today? <laughs> I'm doing pretty good. It's really hot today. But we have pretty good air conditioning. Mm. How should I do the lighting? Yeah. I'm excited to continue this piece, possibly finish it today. I'm not sure though. Oh, I'm still a little on the fence on whether I will get it or not. Oh uh, yeah, no. <laughs> One of my biggest drawbacks I've seen so far for the Origami King was when it was, like, revealed that they were, like, not characters, really. Or, I guess they, like, could have character to them. But they're, you know, objects instead of, like, you know, sentient species, if that makes any sense. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. No, I, I definitely get that you're talking about, like, the um, implementation of the battle system. Yeah, the mechanic. But yeah, for, for me, um, it was, like, a balloon deflating when I found out that <sighs> that that's what the bosses were. Hello, Chaos. Why is that not... Hmm. That's interesting. I don't want that there. Oh, you're not late at all. Chaos. We just started. I guess it kind of looks like we didn't just start because I already had a good chunk of this drawing finish. Yeah, Aqua, I, I, I think that's generally how I'm feeling at this point. Though, <laughs> I watched a stream recently of Sticker Star. A small stream. It was for the TRG Direct bonus. And I forgot how many just legit bad things were in that game. <laughs> like, decisions that I'm like, wow, why did you do that? <laughs> but yeah, um, I think Color Splash and Origami King so far have been, from what I've seen, um, good steps. But yeah, it's just, it's not for me anymore, I think, on the most part. That said, Bug Fables was really good. Oops. I know. The first two were so amazing. And like I I'm one of the ones that likes the third one. Um not as much for the mechanics, but the story was definitely awesome. Yeah, I, I, I'm definitely one of the ones that includes Super Paper Mario in, like, 
um, you know, Paper Mario versus Paper Mario. <laughs> I don't know why they got, like, so caught up on, oh, it's, you know, it's the paper. It's like, to me, it was always a storybook aesthetic. And, like, if you take the story out of that, it becomes, like, okay, what, what, okay, it looks nice. Like, nobody can say that they don't look nice. They do. You know, they're creative in the fact of, you know, what they do with environments and stuff. But, you know, like, a lot of people like Super Paper Mario for the story. Like, even the people that aren't a fan of the gameplay are like, man, this is a great story. And then, like, unfortunately, the newer ones don't even really have the best gameplay either. <laughs> so there's, like, not much there. <laughs> like, the humor is funny, but, and, like, I love humor, but I don't know. It's, it's, it just feels like there's always been step backwards. <laughs> <laughs> this has turned into a Paper Mario stream. Um, what I loved about the first Paper Marios was the way they had really unique take on the Mario franchise. Yeah. Yeah. I, I had a comic, I think, yesterday? Yeah. That was about the fact that, you know, enemy races and the first few Paper Marios, like, there were people that weren't in Bowser's army. Like, it was just a good chunk of their species was. Or, you know, like, you'd see friendly Koopas and friendly Goombas, and that was just, that was really interesting. And then I saw a video that was talking about, like, the Paper Mario situation, and it brought up such a good point where, you know, they're supposed to be limited to, you know, peep creatures or, you know, characters from the Mario franchise. But then, you know, you look at Odyssey, you look at Super Mario Sunshine, you look at Galaxy, these mainline games, they have a lot of unique, like, creatures in them. So, like, why why can't Paper Mario do that? Like, come on. <laughs> Any of you that saw my the shading stream might recognize I'm using my my purple that I like. <laughs> Hi Brooke! I'm glad you like it. I'm having such a good time with it. Like you know I like a piece when I'm taking, like, a lot more time on it. Hello! Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not playing music just because I still am new-ish to streaming, so I don't know exactly on copyright and stuff, so... We're talking about Paper Mario right now. Oh, I should show you. So this is the whole thing so far. By all means, if, uh, if you see any colors that, like, maybe I should change or something, let me know. <laughs> I'm so glad you like it. I, lo I love her design so much. Like, like, damn. <laughs> Oh, it's so happy. It's it's been so fun. It's been a while since I've like sat down and done a longer piece too. So it's just it's just so nice. <laughs> it's showing off what I want right now. <laughs> Go to the beach. <laughs> Oops. It's in there.
If you can't go to the beach in real life, draw your own beach. <laughs> Artist yourself, but I I drew Brooke at the beach. And me. <laughs> this is also the first drawing in a while where like I've actually sat down and looked for references, as bad as that sounds. Most of the time I'm just too lazy to. And it's it's not like a pride thing of like, oh it's cheat no, it's not cheating. It's it's how you do art. But I like to do like quick pieces. So, you know, the few minutes where I have to look for references, usually I'm like, eh, eh. I know what a flower ruffler looks like. I'll, I'll just do that. But this time was different. I wanted it to look really, really nice. Hmm. Oh yeah, no, no. <laughs> If anything, Aqua, I'd say it's the opposite. Thank you, Brooke. <laughs> I'm having so much fun with it. So much fun. Um, by all means, Brooke, if you ever have ideas for, you know, Fire Lord Brooke drawings, definitely tell me. I, I love drawing her. You. I don't know. <laughs> Do you? Yeah? <laughs> Because, like, it is Final Lord Book, but is it, like, a character? I don't know. <laughs> Her de the design is just so good. I love everything about it. Ooh! Ooh, let me know. Yes, absolutely! Absolutely. <laughs> One bad thing to simplifying, like, realistic stuff is deciding where you're gonna have the shading afterwards. <laughs> Ooh. Ah. <laughs> oh my god, why? <laughs> why is it? Ooh. Ooh, I like that. Zula. <laughs> oh my god, why OBS? Why did you open it in an explorer? Why? <laughs> Why would you do this to me? <laughs> I thought we were friends, OBS. Don't open Internet Explorer on me. Zula, sit. There. <laughs> no, it's like not. Not closing, okay. <laughs> Azula looking like she's about to kill someone. I mean, that's like, that's like her default. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's her standard look. Yeah, no, I'll definitely, I'll definitely do all that later, Brooke. Thank you. Mm. I'm always caught between cell shading and, like, gradient shading. So I like both. But sometimes it's hard to get them to like mesh nicely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've been really enjoying uh, seeing your art in the art channel though too, Brooke. They're so cute, like the Zelda chibi you had. And I mentioned too, um, the hair gradients you do when you post the, the chibis. I really love the style on those. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you just get into that like funk of like, eh. I feel like even though I've been doing a lot of art always, um, I think I've been in like a long uh, more detailed piece funk, if that makes any sense for a while. Oh, right, the umbrella lines aren't in there. Oh. Mm -hmm. Wait. Oh, <laughs> no wonder the bucket is working weird. I didn't actually put the selection source on the right thing. <laughs> oh my god. Uh. One thing I really need to do is get more into actually using clip 
<laughs> There's so many resources in there. But no, I just uh just keep going back to Psy <laughs> over and over. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, cleaning the house. I I need to do some cleaning around my house too. Or apartment, <laughs> rather. It's not house. <laughs> it's really nice though. Kitchen is big enough that you could fit a bed in there. It's amazing. <laughs> two, two, two. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> also, little proposition, maybe. But if you wanted to do an art collab at some point, that would be super fun. <laughs> yeah, our collab would be so fun. I've I haven't done many, but yeah. No, I was just thinking the other day when you said you loved line art, and I'm like, I love coloring. It's like, well, <laughs> but yeah, definitely hit me up. Anytime. It'd be super fun. I love the gradient in this hair. It's so fun. Awesome. I look forward to it. I have a reference for the the beach I'll have in the background. And we'll we'll see if I can actually do it nicely. <laughs> I'm like decent at backgrounds, but occasionally they just kick your butt, you know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I forgot I did like some shading on the emblem here. <laughs> I'm excited to get to more the what would you say the lighting having the sun sort of pop out that's always fun oh my gosh oh my gosh my speakers i have uh my music in my headphones right now and just there the current song i was like gosh this is, this is too loud any guesses as to how loud it was, like, the number on my speaker? <laughs> 86. Oh, oh, Aqua. Oh, yeah, I guess, I guess maybe Aqua didn't. You weren't here for when I was talking about how crazy good my speakers are. The volume, when it was too loud for this song, was at four. As in zero four. <laughs> right now it's at two. Acceptable level. <laughs> I usually have, um, yeah, yeah, no, no, my speakers are crazy. 
I usually have uh, my music playing on, like not in my headphones when I'm drawing. I think partly because there's something about it being right in my ears when I'm doing something that bothers me, but I don't want it to like echo on the mic. It's just easier to control with the headphones, so. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I don't really listen to anything that I'd want to be, like, private, so. Yeah, no problem, Chaos. Thanks for hopping by. <laughs> Same, Lufico. Some musical numbers, too. Listen to some musical stuff, too. I'm a big fan of musicals. Blast it loud and proud. <laughs> I still probably wouldn't blast stuff. Unless it's... Okay, occasionally I listen to stuff loudly on my earphones, but... Nah. <laughs> Just occasionally. Not all the time. <laughs> Yeah, man, a good musical is so awesome. Even, like, just from, um, like, a writing perspective, being able to successfully get across, you know, like, story themes. <laughs> oh my gosh death no musical that's one thing i need to watch more of is like those fan musicals unless you're telling me there's a canon death no musical <laughs> well, i know there's like a phoenix wright musical and like a um persona 4 one. Oh my gosh it's officially like Oh. I always see when, when people are like, well, how can people, you know, spontaneously all, um, you know, break into music and such, and I'm like, you've never been in a crowded place when someone starts belting out a song from the radio that everybody knows. Uh, I feel like there's a difference between a stage play and a musical, but I'm not sure. Oh, the Japanese company hired an American composer to write the songs first, and they did this full demo thing in English. Huh. <laughs> oh, right! There's like a haiku musical, too. Wait, is that one official? <laughs> Anyway, bottom line, musicals are awesome. <laughs> oh, right. Do you guys like this, like, bioluminescent drink? I didn't know what to do for it, so I just kind of made it a random color. <laughs> Put that there. I swear, I never have, like, a super consistent way that I shade. I always just kind of hop around. Like, oftentimes I'll, I'll shade, like, area at a time, kind of the way I did the, the coloring. So, 
you know, like this, that, this, that, and then uh, the skin, and then the back of the chair. So, like, oftentimes I would do it group by group like that. But I don't know. This time I'm just doing it all the way. A very clear lemonade. Ah. Oh no. Oh yeah, Brawl in the Family. I loved that comic. It was so good. It was so cute. Mm. Yeah. I do miss Brawl in the Family, but I think it did end at, like, a good time. It was so cute, though. I love seeing, um, like, Adeline more. Kirby 64, man. That's my Kirby game. Used to rent it all the time. <gasps> Some of you youngins might not know what renting is. Actually, I don't even. <laughs> Most of you are probably around my age, so that doesn't even mean anything. <laughs> Better to want more than to have it go on for too long, though, I'd say. I feel like I've beaten it once. For hip hop blockbuster. Honestly, I miss I miss renting games. Like I know you can get a ton nowadays for like five bucks on Steam and such, but there was just something fun about going and renting them. Especially for um, like bigger AA games, AAA games. So then you could like try it out, see if you actually liked it. Though of course, makes sense why the big old companies were like, stop that. Let's see. Do a little bit there. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Sometimes I forget I'm selecting something. And I'll be like, why is it not working? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I guess demos kind of filled that that slot of trying out games before buying them. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that reminds me of uh, Tales of Vesperia, the demo. It like put you... You know how some games have like a wake-up boss where the game is kind of like, you know, decently easy and such. Um, and then you get to this one boss and it's like, okay, now we're going to actually start like kicking your butt. <laughs> For some reason, the Vesperia demo decided... We're gonna have the demo focus on that boss, the one that wakes you up and <laughs> kicks your butt. <laughs> so people got the demo and they're just like, oh my god, <laughs> I cannot beat this thing. Because, like, not only was it, like, just a tough boss in the game, like, to start a demo where you haven't had the experience of playing the rest of the game. It just is weirdly cruel. <laughs> I think I heard that they had to like tone it down too for 
Like, they realized that in the demo it was too hard, so they toned it down for the main game. And it was still hard. <laughs> now this song is too quiet. Dark Souls, oh my gosh. Dark Souls is one of those games that I would never end up playing, just because, uh, not my style of game. I like bright colors and, and such. Also, I f I'm a bit of a weenie, so I feel like I'd get scared <laughs> just by things like jumping at me, you know? Like, not even like dark atmospheres and stuff. Seeing something run at me and being like, ah! <laughs> mm. Yeah, the thing that has interested me about Dark Souls the most out of anything I've seen is, like, hearing that it has lore and, like, stories behind it. And, like, that sounds really cool to me. Yeah, it has, like, like books and stuff and then the I think the bosses have like stories behind them stuff like that yeah and item descriptions <laughs> will I ever learn how to how to shade boobs find out next time <laughs> oh no <laughs> no I won't <laughs> ah! Darn it. Oh, come along. <laughs> In real life, I have to Oh, yeah, watching lore videos. I definitely am not the one to have enough patience to, like, actually look for it myself. Mm. 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 I think that's okay. I like the red lining, but at the same time, I'm like, hmm, hmm, I wonder if I do this, and then where are the lines, there they are, make the same thing, but on the lines, maybe that'll help, okay, okay, Yeah, no. I like that. I remember watching through Kingdom Hearts and fantasy, Final Fantasy lore videos. Mainly because my memory sucks I can't remember all the details. I watched a video once that was like describing Kingdom Hearts and I was just like okay. <laughs> Well, part of me finds it fun to not understand. <laughs> like, I'm sure if I put in the time, I might, like, get it a bit more. But, like, nothing, nothing can beat that feeling of seeing, like, a Kingdom Hearts post that says, 
all these characters are different characters and it looks like the same guy and then saying and all of these characters are the same character and it's a bunch of guys that look completely different (laughs) like it's just it's fun I just really like the uh, the idea of the Disney stuff is really cool to me for Kingdom Hearts. Unfortunately, it seems like they don't really do much with it, especially now because like licensing and stuff. Like I'd heard that the Frozen one was like really limited. <laughs> hmm. I think that's okay for. That shading. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Now let's see. Do I want to just do erasing? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, let's try this. And then. Wait. No. Okay. That's not what I want to do. Mm. Oh. Okay, I just, I just need a clipping group. I don't know what I was trying to do there. And then yellow, because the sun. Well, let's see. Uh. Oh, yeah. Surprised that they were able to use Let It Go. I like that some people were like, is it just me or does it look better in the game? <laughs> that was just, that sounded funny to me. Doing good with the worlds is amazing. Oh yeah, no, the Kingdom Hearts 3 explana- uh, explanation situation. It's definitely like a tough one because with that much time, like, things, games getting delayed is almost always a good thing, but admittedly, once it gets too long of a delay, then it's kind of like screwed out the door because like to meet that many expectations for however long it was what 10 years or so it's like it's it's difficult the longer that wait is the harder it is Oops. Nice. I'm liking how the I'm liking how the lightning's coming out so far. Yeah. I want some lighting on the the flower. But it's kind of in a spot where there wouldn't really be much lighting. <laughs> maybe maybe coming through the back here. Mm. 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 Oh. <laughs> yeah, actually, thinking about it in a similar ish way. When I, th- I think it's when when you know that like the game is gonna be coming out, sort of like Kingdom Hearts three, like I think they like announced it pretty long ago, right? Or like that they're working on it or something. That's when it gets to that tricky business of like, oh great, it's gotta be like absolutely amazing to meet the expectation. Meanwhile, 
it can like loop around again where if it's been long enough then you know people aren't expecting it to happen at all and then you can kind of drop it and be like hey here's a game and people will be like oh my god <laughs> I've been really impressed with uh, the Switch library. Like a lot of third party titles. I made the shadow this way and I was gonna maybe have some light coming through here. Hmm. That's gonna be interesting to try and do. Mm, I'll do like this or. Maybe I'll get rid of that shadow for now. Cause it probably should be a light over here. <laughs> I like Dream Drop Distance for the fact that the title sounds cool. I haven't played it, but the title's cool. <laughs> uh. D D D. D D D. Oh my gosh, it's a Kirby connection. <laughs> mm. My lighting and shading style is just have fun with it until I'm happy with it. I'm listening to Avatar music right now. Ooh. Mm. Man, highlights and hair is one of those things that I'm just like not very good at at all. <laughs> okay. Mm. There. These are supposed to be highlights from the sun. Eh, eh. Yeah. Oops. The straw's gonna kill me. Kirby for Kingdom Hearts 4. Oh no. Oh my gosh. Ah, that's, that's great. I wonder what the next Kirby game is going to be. Uh. Okay. Nice. I'm so happy I was able to get one of these like heart straws in this drawing. I've been wanting to do one with one of these for a while. <laughs> the recording of this is going to be like so quiet because most of the time it'll just be me focusing. <laughs> mm. It's funny though because you guys are chatting a lot but I'm just getting so into it. <laughs> Oh yeah, no, the 3DS era was really hilarious on how everybody was trying to get 3D in the title. I really liked uh, Kirby Triple Deluxe. Triple D. 3D. That was, that's clever. <laughs> oh jeez, too much. Mm, yeah, blurring sign. Oh, thank you, MP3.
Yeah, I'm hoping hoping slowly to get more used to streaming and like interacting and such. Um I think it's really been providing like a community sense that I kind of missed for a while. Like I've been posting the same amount, but you know, I, I like talking to you guys. You know. Mm. I think that's nice for getting little little highlights in there. Also, amazingly, it's like the same color as the skin here when it does this. It's pretty nice. He. <laughs> One day I'll set up a, we're starting soon, you know, thing. Yeah, no, I'm, I think this lighting turned out really nice. Like, it's not a lot, but I, I'd like it. Uh-oh, does that mean we're going to be starting the beach in the back? This song is too loud now again at four, what the hell? God. Oh. No, I think I should figure out exactly what I want for the drink. What do you guys think? <laughs> yeah, this is this is just like a placeholder right now. Oh, jeez. What would you drink on a beach? Well, I know Luffy Goat mentioned earlier um, lemonade. Or mango juice. Not that bright, though. Maybe something more like that? Mm. Doesn't have to be like the best of the drink. <laughs> It'll be bubbly lemonade. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, have a good dinner, Adept. And add a little condensation on here. <laughs> ah, I, I really need to get better at um uploading the old streams onto um my YouTube just to archive them. Yeah, that looks good. Nice. Hmm. I wonder if should be over the lines. Hmm. Oh, because the cup is not. It's a different one. Okay. Oh, yeah. I had sunglasses <laughs> for this picture, but I didn't really like how they had come out. So. so I really liked how the, the eyes did, so I didn't want to cover them. Oh, I love doing eyes, man. So shiny. Okay. I think I'm quote unquote ready to do the sunglasses or sunglasses, the beach. Oh, these are my references. Yeah. <laughs> For a second, Luffy go. I thought, I thought you meant it looks good without the beach. And I was like, well, yep, there you go. I, I, don't, I, don't, need it. I don't need the beach. <laughs> no, I want, I want to get better at doing backgrounds. <laughs> so. 
So this is nice practice because like it's just like I might have a palm tree in there. Like I might go look up a palm tree. But as far as backgrounds go, it's not like a super complicated one. You know, like it's just you know, the sky, um, beach, water, and, like, maybe a tree and, like, grass, right? So. Sky. Yeah, as far as, like, sky goes, I already do the sky a lot in my comics, so. <laughs> Buzz is another one of those things that I can never decide exactly how I want to do them. Like, I like stylized clouds a lot, but then I'm also, like, I'm pretty decent at doing really nice blurred ones. Like, the suggestion of them, and I, I like these a lot, too. But they're, they're so different, it's like, it really clashes. <laughs> You know? What do you guys think? Should I go for more stylized or more like puffy, realicious? Realicious? Realistic. Somebody break the tie. <laughs> I have to learn how to, like, do polls and stuff. I really think polls during streams would be fun. Especially because um, ITM, the story I want to write, is a choose-your-own-adventure with a lot of choices. Like, that's the main, like, appeal of it. So, if I could, like, finish writing portions and then stream it and have people choose that way like with polls that'd be so fun whoa <laughs> i love when that happens when like one portion is lined just fine but the other isn't and then everything else fills but that one doesn't because it's like i'm i'm good Ah, I love stylized clouds. Yeah, I just did, I did like a preview comic version or something a long time ago, which is like really old. And I kind of, in a little way, I kind of wish I hadn't, I wish I had waited a bit more to get more ready with it. But on the other hand, too, I feel like if I don't just sit down and like do it, that it might not go anywhere, and I really don't want that. So this year, one of my resolutions is to really get on that, which I think I think next month is going to be really good for that. I worked a lot this month, so it kind of got in the way. Ah! <laughs> Do it, Shira LaBeouf. No, I, I like Shira. I think that's funny. I just forgot and remembered that you guys can't hear my music, but you guys probably maybe recognize that. Hmm? 
Also, for all I know, I'm tone deaf, so. Yeah, Banjo! <laughs> uh, I think it's Spiral Mountain. Yeah, Spiral Mountain. I never know exactly how far I want to go with the shading on stylistic clouds. Partly because, truthfully, I don't really know exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> Just kind of filling in stuff, hoping it works. Mm. Yeah, there we go. So I usually go for an hour, so that would be three minutes from now. But I think I'm gonna get a decent start on this background or quote unquote finish it. It's not gonna be like the most detailed thing ever, just because that's not. You know what I do. Also, I already put in a lot of detail onto uh, Brooke herself. So, okay. Um, can I make it so I get a bit more of the reference in here? Okay. How long is this version of Spark? Okay, only four minutes. <laughs> I thought I had added like one of those half hour versions. Like I like this song a lot, but I feel like that would have been a bit too much. Not that I would have probably noticed. No, I guess I noticed just now that it was a decent amount, so never mind. <laughs> yeah, I think I I won't do the tree for now. Just with how it's turning out. Okay. I'll go with the clipping group just to test it out first. Ooh, okay. Ooh. Oh no. Hamtaro thieves are <laughs> my best friend. He's like some flower. He's come, come, come. Oh god, this show's theme song. It's amazing. Yeah. And I'm not I'm not going for like realism or anything, but just get a little bit more of a feel for background slowly. A little bit at a time. Yeah, exactly. Practice makes perfect, y'all. Practice makes perfect. Or at least closer to perfect. Get too caught up on perfection and it'll ruin ya. Ooh, this sounds good too. I say is, none of you can hear it. <laughs> I actually don't, I don't even think I know what this song is. Because in my playlist it's an AMV. They must have listed what it was somewhere. 
They had to, right? Nice. I think the consensus here for me is, uh, man, I need to, uh, I need to use references a lot more. <laughs> like, this looks really good, and I'm not really, I'm just kind of fiddling around. Nice. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> There's one AMV that I listen to regularly that has a song that just makes me think about what's going on in the, right now in the world. Because the lyrics kind of match it perfectly. That's me and I didn't watch this anime, but Carol, Carol and Tuesday. Is a song called After the Fire. I love that song. It's really good. Thank you. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Hmm. The sand looks a lot lighter in this picture of it. Okay, what would be the best way to the darker feel of the sand. Hmm. Yeah, C Carolyn Tuesday is like got really good music. <laughs> Again, I haven't watched the show, but it's like, man. Damn. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know if you're really see that. I mean, I guess. I guess you could see a little bit of it. Get one of these. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, 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 dot. Ooh! We can have stylized clouds and sort of puffy ones. Just have the puffy ones closer to the horizon. And like not as extreme, just like mm. ah! Yeah! Nice! <laughs> you know, I was gonna expand the picture just slightly so that it would um, have the rest of her knee here. But I forgot. And now I did the background already. <laughs> So there it is. Yeah. Yeah, not too much over um the usual time. It's actually really that was really nice. Um it only took me an hour to do the shading and the background. That's honestly really good. I feel like if I start to run out of topics for like, you know, like the shading, lighting, designing, stuff like that, I feel like it could be fun to uh, like design stuff like, you know, we'll be starting soon, maybe like a, a break one if I start to have 
longer ones. Uh, like, you know, designing that, um, those Twitch things, you know, like any banners or something, I would mean, I could do that on stream. And then, like, you guys could get give input or something. I feel like that'd be fun. Yeah, Brooke's probably still cleaning. Yeah, I'll post this in her art chat, though, too, so. She'll, she'll definitely see it. Yeah, it turns out so good. I'm so happy with it. Well, anywho, that was really fun. Uh, Thank you guys for hanging around and chatting it was really it was really fun actually to um to see people chatting so much like about kingdom hearts paper mario uh like all that was really really fun i love talking about that kind of stuff um and even though i wasn't participating as much because i was focusing really much on the drawing uh like i was still reading along and happy to see you guys chatting amongst yourselves yeah, I'm not sure as of right now what we'll do next stream. Um, possibly comic layouts, because I know some friends in another server were interested in that. Um, but I'm always up for pretty much anything. Definitely trying to do this uh, consistently once a week, and yeah. I think that'll be all for this week, though, so thank you for coming. Bye-bye.